Hey family, it's Ray, and I'm back with another word. I pray that y'all are blessed, are having a blessed day. I pray that y'all have been blessed. I pray that this word finds you well and it gets spirits. Um, so this is a kingdom spouse, kingdom marriage word. Um, so take this word back to the Lord. Of course, test the spirit of this word. Make sure that this word is for you. Make sure that you are aware of what season that you're in. Okay, and so this word comes from a vision that I had. In this vision, I saw a man and I know him to have hair. So in this dream, he didn't have hair. And he had on a royal blue robe. He had just put on the royal blue cover up. He was adjusting it so that it would fall or lay like, you know, properly against somebody. Like, you know how you put a jacket on and you kind of like move your shoulders for it to be comfortable for you. Um, so that's what he was, that's what he was doing. And he stepped up. Um, I didn't see too much of the setting. I just saw like he was just the focus of this vision and that was it okay and so there are some key things that the lord pointed out to me so he pointed out to me or he highlighted the royal blue color like i said his robe was royal blue and so royal blue signifies heaven the holy spirit and authority and then he, he highlighted the robe or the cloak so it it was something like in between it reminded me of either like a graduation gown or that has that has like the sleeves and everything or like one of those robes that you would see like a, a preacher or, or a, a minister or something like that having on when they're up there at the, um, when they're up there at the pulpit I don't know what they're called but that and so a robe or cloak is symbol of authority power of God resting upon him a mantle or a covering and then the haircut so like I said I know this person has hair but in this in this vision he didn't have hair so this haircut signifies getting cleaned up being groomed um physically within their appearance and also spiritually so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the message and then he gave me some scriptures as well so okay so it says he's ready to be presented and take his position like joseph before he was appointed by pharaoh he was taken from the prison was groomed and changed his clothes this man has been groomed and clothed ready to receive you this is spiritually in his heart and mind he has been pruned and cleansed and refined and this is also physically groomed in preparation for your first encounter to be introduced or reintroduced to you okay and then the first scripture he led me to was genesis 41 14 through 42 but i'm gonna skip around a little bit so starting at 14 so pharaoh sent for joseph he was quickly brought out of the prison joseph shaved and changed his clothes then he came to pharaoh and then i'm gonna go down to 38 so pharaoh said to them the spirit of god is in this man we can't find anyone else like him can we then pharaoh said to joseph god has made all this known to you no one is as wise and understanding as you are you will be in charge of my palace all my people must obey your orders i will be greater than you only because i'm the one who sits on the throne so Pharaoh said to Joseph, I'm putting you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took from his finger the ring he used to give his official stamp. He put it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in robes made out of fine linen. He put a gold chain around Joseph's neck. I saw an image of, so at the part where it says Pharaoh took from, the, from his finger the ring he used to give his official stamp, he put it on Joseph's finger. Um, I saw an image as, as um, when the Lord gave me this verse and I read it, I saw like he gave me this image of like God holding the ring basically so so in this sense like God being Pharaoh you know God holding the ring and as the man stepped up to receive his mantle or his in his assignment he was standing in front of God and the Lord handed him the ring as in giving him his blessing permitting him to pursue his wife the same as when Pharaoh took his ring and placed it upon Joseph's finger to give his official stamp so that could be confirmation for someone as well. If the Lord has told you that your spouse is returning or coming with the ring, like they're they're coming to to you with a proposal, it could be confirmation or it could be a surprise. I don't know, but that's something he gave me that too. Um, so I just wrote it down. So the next scripture he gave me was First Kings nineteen, and then verse nineteen through twenty one. It says, Elijah went straight out and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, in a field where there were twelve pairs of yoke oxen at work plowing. Elisha was in charge of the 12th pair. Elijah went up to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha des deserted the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, then I'll follow you. Go ahead, said Elijah, but mind you, don't forget what I've just done to you. So Elisha left, he took his yoke of oxen and butchered them. He made a fire with the plow and tackle in them boiled the meat a true farewell meal for the family then he left and followed elijah becoming his right hand man so it's time to depart from his father and mother and or mother and be united with you 
The Lord has placed this stamp of approval on him for you. The Lord has instructed him to pursue you, letting him know it's time to step into this role and assignment as your husband to lead as head of the household and of this union as he is led by the Holy Spirit to protect you and cherish you as his wife, to love you with his whole heart, mind, body, and spirit. And he led me to look up these words, just going deeper into these, uh, the word cherish, okay? Cherish means to protect and care for someone lovingly. And then they gave a example, like sentence, and it says, he cared for me beyond measure and cherished me in his heart. And then some similar words means to adore, love, treasure, admire, protect, look after, shelter, and nurture. So then he led me to Ephesians 5, 22 through 31. It says, wives, be subject to your own husbands as a service to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as Christ is head of the church, himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives should be subject should be subject to their husbands in everything, respecting both their position as protector and their responsibility to God as the head of the house. Husbands, love your wives, seek the highest good for her, and surround her with a caring, unselfish love, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her, so that he might sanctify the church, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word of God, so that in turn he might present the church to himself in glorious splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she would be wholly set apart for god and blameless even so husbands should be and are morally obligated to love their own wives as being in a sense their own bodies he who loves his own wife loves himself for no one ever hated his own body but instead he nourishes and protects and cherishes it just as christ does the church because we are members parts of his body for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined and be faithfully devoted to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So that was Ephesians, 30, Ephesians 5, 22 through 31. And that was Amplified Version. He was closing his word out to me as I was writing everything down. He, he dropped into uh, my spirit. Where your treasure is, your heart will also be. Where your treasure is, your heart will also be. And that's also a scripture but he didn't give me the whole scripture. He just gave me that one part. Yes, so that's the word. Test the spirit of this word. Take this word back to the Lord and ask the Lord to confirm his word for you. To give you specific details, insight, and instruction concerning your individual situation. Feel free to share this word with anyone who you feel may need to hear this word. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. These scriptures, like I said, will be, in that, will be down below in the description box. So um, check that out. Hit the notification bell so you know if I have any future uploads when I post and I'll be back soon with another word.